Well, I got some new chickens. These, as you probably can tell, if you're a chicken person, are Buff Orpingtons. And they are beautiful. They're about five or six months old. They're laying real well right now. In fact, we'll walk in the we'll walk in the hen house in just a minute and see how many eggs I got. Twelve uh, hens and the rooster. That's a rooster in the foreground, in the background there, the middle. He'll get bigger. They'll all probably get bigger. A couple of them are pretty good size. She's she's almost as big as a rooster is. Uh, most of them, she said one, of, one or two of them may be an older one, uh, like a year old or something like that. But most of these were hatched out, I think, in uh, June, probably, something like that. Beautiful chickens. And uh, they are laying up storm. Just got them a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and I am tickled to death. Sold today. Sold my um, Rhode Island Reds real cheap. They were a little older, two and a half, three years old slowing down on the laying and uh, so I sold them for five bucks a piece which is dirt cheap even if they're gonna put them in a stew pot that's mighty cheap but look at him he's ain't he pretty he's a big one and he's gonna get bigger he ain't that old right now lady down the road raises them and she's downsizing and uh, raise these for me. We're going to do some bartering. I'm going to show her a little bit about YouTube. And she is the chicken lady. So when I um, when she uh, decides to do her channel, I will introduce her uh, to you. And um, she probably knows more about chickens than I'll ever know. And homesteading. She does a good job homesteading and such. They got a lot of fruit trees and all sorts of stuff. So. Anyway, when that happens, I'll uh, I'll introduce you to her YouTube channel. But for right now, we have got a mess of buff Orpingtons. One right there in the middle with her butt up in the air is probably the smallest one. And uh, she's as big as the, uh, maybe bigger than the Rhode Island Reds were. So it's a big, it's a big chicken. It's a meat, um, it's an egg and meat breed, dual purpose breed. Uh, they do get... Plenty meaty for um, to uh, to kill, you know, if you want to. So, uh, and they're very they they go broody a lot, which means the mamas uh, will sit on the nest and hatch their own babies out, which is fine with me. So I'll uh, I'll let them do that in the spring and summer, and uh, I'll have some to uh, to kill probably, and replace these with, and we'll just have a big time around the farm. Thought I'd show you my new chickens, Buff Arbington's on the farm. I separated the old from the new. <laughs> They're still trying to say I'm highest on the pecking order. That's the rooster there in the middle. But the two hens are jumping at it. He's he's kind of in there too, but they, they've been getting it. <laughs> I've heard Rhode Island Reds are mean. One on the left Rhode Island Red. Again, these are Buff or Buff Orpingtons, which is a very docile chicken, but the Buffs are very, the Orpingtons are very uh, uh, docile, uh, gentle chicken. But apparently, <laughs> apparently the one on the left is the is queen of the Rhode Island Reds, and the one on the right is queen of the Buffs, and, and then of course the rooster. But they're getting it. Trying to show I'm the man. I'm the boss. TP2 got him some new chickens. Oh, I told you we we're gonna go look at the eggs. Let's go in there and look at the eggs. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And as you can see, one of them busted in there. I have a feeling that was one of the Rhode Island Reds that busted. I had one that was laying real, real thin shelled eggs. And like I say, sold them today. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> nine eggs, ten eggs today. If the busted one would have made it, ten out of twelve. I'm thinking that's pretty dang good. You're doing good, pretty. I know it. If that was you, welcome. 
I let them have the uh, I let them have the whole uh, run, which is uh, 14 feet by about 140, 150 feet, and then uh, I open that gate right there where the orange thing is. Open that, let them out in my back to Eden, two gardens, and and they uh, they just go crazy out there. So anyway, hopefully I got took care of my possum problem. Uh, I've got a hawk that's very interested in them. But it's a sparrow hawk, a small hawk, and I just don't think he's big enough. I know he's not big enough to just grab one and take it off. Uh, he could fly down, and kill one, and start eating it there. But uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. I, I know I've got a pair of those around here. Hope I don't have to uh, do anything about that. But I gotta, I gotta keep my chickens. So here we are. Worst comes to worst. Poops hit, poop hits the prop. Got a new flock of chickens. We're gone.